She's a sank fucker. A sank fucker. Oh, come on, Don. You know you can twerk better than that. Throw that ass like you're throwing when you're with one of your strumpets. Put your back into it. And of course, Sissy Van has to give a dramatic presentation of the key to the new shop. Charmaine, what is this wig? <laughs> Looks like black ramen noodles. Oh God, you sick, sorry trolls. They in the same motherfucking office. We went through three episodes of bullshit to end up in the same motherfucking place. See, that's why Big Fish ain't shit. That's sorry ass production. Y'all couldn't come up with anything original. You had to pull this bullshit. See, this is why nobody wants to watch the show. This is why the ratings are low. Low. Because it's a low thought plot. Y'all could have settled this first fucking episode back and given us something. You gonna drag it out. Now we supposed to sit here stupid thinking, oh, I guess they got the lease back just in time. Is that what you think? That ain't what I think. I'm going to start reading the executive producer's names and looking them up and giving them the cuss out they deserve because y'all are some lazy, shitty, tired, ignorant motherfuckers. And I'm about to give you what for. So the shop's going to be run as a collective. It took all y'all's credit to get a lease. That's what that is. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Four. That rap didn't even rhyme, and the audience don't have time. Oh my God, that was pathetic. Don't tell nobody you a rapper if you walk around with that shit. Lily. Lily, who the fuck are you, and why the fuck are you here? Let, let's answer that question first. You riddle me that. You riddle me why the hell she's here. Then she gonna act big and bad. Why are you bringing Danielle back to the shop? Weren't you just warning this girl about her ain't shit fiance? And again, she worked at the shop before you, so she has seniority. You just have a bad waist and clothes that accentuate it. I'm going to need you to shut all the way the fuck up. Why do you have a problem with Danielle anyway? She the receptionist. You're a tattoo artist. You don't even do what she does. Oh, God. Ryan really is committed to this shitty-ass lunch lady perm. Ugh. I don't like Rachel no more, and I don't know why. I, a cat was a hoe. Cat was a sank fucking hoe. And what cat pulled wasn't cute. Now, Ryan, because you were the person in the relationship, so you owed Rachel your loyalty. But for some reason, I just don't like Rachel. And I can't tell you why. Do y'all have the same feeling? Is there something about her you just don't like? I mean, cat should have gone. Like, there's nothing wrong with telling a hoe to have on. Especially if she's trying to fuck yo man. But I don't know. This whole shit with Ryan and her, I don't like it. Also, the convention crew was just temporary. Oh, Ryan's really getting into his hire and fire. Gonna have a temp fr gonna have a temp fr gonna have a temp crew for the convention just to piss off the old heifers. And now you're looking for true talent. I wonder when you're going to fire them. It's just, you know what it is? It's like a body wave, but it's real short. I just can't with this. No. So it sounds like Ryan going to do a no fun tattoo shop with no drinking and no shaking of the ass. <laughs> Ryan. You going to tell Bella she smell like she homeless, but she look homeless. They have to look homeless when you was hiring her. Oh, God. And this dress this dress <laughs> that's a homeless dress <laughs> i've never seen anyone but the indigent population in a dress like that you know since 1990 she ain't got no shoes on now i want to know is that a production assistant just trying on her acting chops or did they really get someone from the indigent population Oh, Charmaine, shut the fuck up. We back in this bitch like we never left. You never left. You never fucking left. Oh, my God. They overturned some chairs, moved paintings, and exposed old bullet holes. And that was that. Sorry, ass production. Say you have your right to have your feelings and your feelings are valid. Lily, you don't have a right to have these feelings and your feelings are invalid. 
Shut the fuck up. I hate her. I fucking hate her. She has gotten on my last goddamn nerves. I would rather look at Cobra than her. At least Cobra's real. Who are you to decide who deserves to be at this shit show or not? You don't deserve to be here. All the drama you caused chasing Junior off. An artist with twice your skill. So now Leah and Danielle is arguing. Skirmish! Skirmish! This Lily went from zero to 100 for no fucking reason. But Danielle, you was getting them kicks in with that chunky heel. Oh, this is a real skirmish. Oh my God, she is windmill kicking. Windmill kicking. Kick, Danielle. Kick, kick. Whoop her ass. Whoop her ass. All right, a good fight. Lily doesn't mean a lot, Charmaine. Stop saying that, but I guess they can figure it out. You can't figure out that shit on your head, but they can figure out this. I mean, her hair looked like she was in the fight. Just as dry, little ball spot on this side. <laughs> Lord, I mean, just roll out of bed. You going to be on TV looking like you just roll out of bed. Okay. You put your opportunity on hold with that producer? The fuck is wrong with you, four? I mean, I like your girlfriend, but she ain't worth your career. Child, you chose to stay here because that producer told you how much the beats would cost and you didn't have no money and you ain't got no label helping you. And he dropped your ass the second he heard what no funds. For every hit a producer has, there's 99 tracks that ain't nobody listening to. Ask Remy Ma. You don't want to spend all that time and money just to be bubbling on the billboard under 100. I'll never forget when Remy said, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's bubbling on the billboard under 100. Girl, that's like saying my videos are doing what they supposed to do. They bubbling under the YouTube trend. <laughs> okay, now Lily just hire an artist like she runs shit. So now we got an airplane fucker joining our sink fucker. I don't want to have sex on an airplane. When I get on an airplane, I just want to get to where I'm going and get the hell out of the airport. That's not romantic or sexy times for me. I mean, that smell on the airplane alone is unattractive. And as big as I am, the airplane bathroom by myself or the seat by myself. So, Rachel, how you gonna call her Bella wasted one minute, but then ask Ryan to take a chance on her the next? I'm sorry, you show up drunk to work and on TV. I can't fuck with you. Oh, God, this heifer already crying. Oh, Lord. So she brought a boot she stole from somebody's house. So they're gonna give this heifer a chance. But also, why the hell does she have that outfit on? That ain't a tattoo outfit. That's a date outfit. Maybe she's a working girl who knows how to tattoo and is trying to change careers. Judging by her face and her skin, it's a midlife change of career. And it definitely looks overdue. Meanwhile, back at the real Nine Mag, because Ryan, you can say you Nine Mag. The group is Nine Mag, heifer. So back at the real Nine Mag, they painting over that black wall. Everybody got on their little jumpsuits. And in walks Lily's new artist. So everybody see Lily is here to bring the shit. But they gonna let this new artist stay because she has an appointment. The rent is real, so hef on, heifer. All right, Reese, I'm kind of fucking with you. You know there was some bullshit. You kind of tried to pay homage to the bosses when you walked in. But you like, look, I know it's going to be what it is. I'm going to get my coin. Honestly, I'm sick of them taking time to talk with their little clients. I don't give a fuck about why they getting the tattoo and what they want to get out of the tattoo. Just do the fucking work. Show us the little picture so we can be reminded of what you actually do. And then get back to the mess. Oh, God. Now we got Junior with Ryan. Uh, I'm sick of them trying to shoehorn his ass in. Lily, too. Can they go? Neither one of them are attractive enough so they can move the fuck on. And now I got to look at Rachel, and I really don't want to look at her. Oh, please. So now we meeting Junior's heifer, and Ryan gonna say that's out of his league. Nah, honey, that's in his league with them horse teeth. That's right up his alley. 
I don't like Rachel, and Rachel looked better than her. Please don't try to build somebody as something special when they ain't. And I saw her and her limp, lifeless hair, and I was not impressed. And then she's got muted natural makeup, and she thinks that's helping her face. It's not. So Ryan's asking Junior to be the new manager at the new Nine Mag. Junior, stop playing. You know you're going to take this. And that's why they brought your ass back. And as for a straight answer, honey, you'll always give a bi answer, at least according to that face piercing. He give me secret bisexual tease. He give me he have threesomes with other boys tease. Like, he have his wife and then another man. Ooh, are we getting a second skirmish? So now we are at a club for four surprise party. And they did it up big. Looks like it's a 90s party. Oh, my God. Okay, so now I get Lily's problem. She does not understand that, girl, you got to work with people and pay people. Do you book all your own appointments or does Charmaine and Danielle book them? Well, Charmaine got y'all on the show. Y'all can actually be famous. That's her job as the marketing manager. She be shouting y'all out on the radio. So Charmaine is your free press and full promo. And that's a very important job and not everybody can do it. So give Charmaine her fair cut. Now, Danielle, on the other hand, as the receptionist, she should be booking your clients. Or do you book your clients and she just takes the trash out? Yeah, what does Danielle do? I mean, she's the receptionist, but who is she receiving? Like, is she really just... Oh, please wait over here. You could have a machine do that. If Danielle is a financial drag, maybe it is time for her to go. But why haven't they talked about that on camera? At least they finally let Lily make some damn sense. All right, four, getting ready to walk in. There is nothing better than a surprise party. I've had a surprise party once. It was an intimate surprise party, but a surprise party nonetheless. Four did the most with that fallback. I, I I think you knew there was a surprise party. I just didn't think you knew it was going to be this good. Who this hoe? Who, 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 who this hoe? Oh, God. And you really think you going to have a threesome? Like, y'all really get down like that. I think more people have a real life married couple threesomes than we know about. Because he really thinks he going to have a threesome. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, I, mm, I <laughs> um, I ain't even gonna say nothing, but no, not this heifer. Mm, she look a little unwashed. Oh, wow. Oh, Nikki really into it. Nikki like, shit, I want to see the titties too. And she like, look, I saw last season. I'm not about to get my ass whooped. So girl, I'm gonna clear it with you woman to woman first. Before we even go down that road, bartender over here trying to get a free peep as well. I think I'm the only one who don't care about seeing this woman's breast. And believe you me, I don't care. And out they are. Oh yeah, Nikki's all over her. Now I see why Ford trying to stick with Nikki. Now I see why he didn't go to Los Angeles. He said, look, I got a good freak right here. I ain't going cross country for what I can get at home, which are half-ass hits. Because if he really wanted to work with him, there are studios in Chicago. Y'all could pop that shit out and that would be that. If you really believed in him, but you don't. You thought you was going to get some show money. That's what you thought. You thought cheap-ass Big Fish was going to cough up for Ford's musical production budget. I guess you had another thing coming. Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh my god the bartender who was peeping at them titties said you know what i'd like a taste too yeah it got real skeezy real quick then again it was already skeezy i mean hell you fuck charmaine too so no for you're not having a threesome tonight but also your chances of getting syphilis just dropped significantly i'm telling you that heifer had something i could smell it through the screen <laughs> oh my god what the fuck is this what is this <laughs> y'all are doing too much on a wednesday night slash thursday morning 
Oh my God. One, why does this woman look dead? She looked fresh dead. Like the funeral home just put the makeup and the home going wig on her. And then she got on this 90s attire. And this is supposed to be Lily's cousin. Well, she just as ugly. I'll give her that. So yeah, I can see the family resemblance. Ugly. With pallid skin. Pallid. I mean, she looks like a clown. Are you see what why? Oh god, this is <laughs> She looks like she's in white face. I can't. Oh god, so now Lily hefts over to the conversation Paloma's having with Saint fucking Charmaine. And it's about to be a skirmish. I think we might get full on brawl. Charmaine trying to be nice, but but Lily always brings the shit. We're gonna close the episode with a skirmish. Lily yelling at Charmaine, you and Danielle act like you deserve this. Well, they do. At least Charmaine does. Charmaine got y'all to show. And again, I don't really know if Danielle deserves shit or not. Oh, Lily threw the first punch, and it was a mean left hook. That might have knocked a filling loose. Oh, shit, Charmaine went down. Charmaine went down. That was a sucker punch. Yeah, it's time for Lily to go. They're dragging her across the floor by her extensions. Get rid of Lily. She don't bring nothing to the show. She's just angry and bitter and ugly. Well, that's all I got, so I'm going to see you soon for something. Tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.